What is up guys? Jake here with our next videos in the beginner series. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ancients. Uh, as you can see here, I have a town hall, or excuse me, town hall stronghold that is just finished. I got a, uh, upgrade my troop pool to level three. That little black dark guy looking right there is going to be part of what we're talking about today. Um, and so on. Uh, just a few more defenses. I can upgrade my defenses and an extra gold storage. Uh, the, let's see what she says here. Strong enough to join a kingdom. Oh, that's going to be coming soon too, guys. So uh, she's just going to tell us where to go. But we will be, probably the next video you see, if not the one after that, will be the one you guys have been waiting for, uh, announcing the kingdom and, and what the name is and, and how to join it, all of that. So be looking for that. Um, the ancients, you'll see the shrine over here. We'll zoom in on it. Uh, the ancient shrine. That is where you uh, upgrade your ancients. Uh, there's, as you progress through the game, you're going to get more and more. Uh, I'll click on mine here. You see I've gotten three at this point uh, pretty quickly in the game. Actually, I need to use some codes uh, that I have not put out yet. Speaking of codes, I do have some codes for you guys that uh, that Space Ape has passed along to me. I will be giving those away. I'm uh, probably not going to do it on Twitter like you guys have seen a million of them out there. I'll just give it to you guys here. Uh, probably put them in the comment sections or just you know randomly select some people. Uh, maybe I'll save them for the guys that, that are, you know, first ones into the clan or to the kingdom. We'll see. We'll see about that. Uh, but you see, I've got three uh, ancients here. And I, what I want to show you guys is how you actually upgrade them. Uh, you'll see those little red icons there. That means that I have the ability to upgrade those ancients. And what you use to upgrade them, you see the enhance button there, is what's called Primus. Uh, you're going to get that for from your chest you know, when you do a, uh, a few raids and you get a chest, sometimes you'll get this Primus. This is what that's for, guys. Uh, you just put, you click on it. It'll only let you, you know, put the Primus that will work for that particular ancient in there. Hit the upgrade button. It does its little lightning. And it starts upgrading, uh, you know, its abilities. Uh, they, they last longer. They do more damage. Uh, all of those things you see where the, where the uh, just click on the little question mark there. Uh, right there. As, as you go up, it tells you what the, What's going to happen? You know what's going to what upgrades they're going to get. Uh, it's going to it's going to upgrade different things as you go. Uh, just this is the way you upgrade sort of your heroes in this game. So you're going to want to look for that, and you're going to want to uh, look for ways to get new ancients. Obviously, you can sort of pay to get them. You can get those chests. Uh, in fact, we'll go in there and look at it right now. Um, let's see here. Where's that at? Uh, right here. No, let's stay the awards. I'm sorry, guys. Where's my... I'm in the wrong spot, maybe. Right here we go. You want to do your thing and go into these chests. Right there, you can see rare, rare ancient chest. I mean, it's going to have... Contains rare and epic ancients. So you can simply take the short route and get them that way. Or you can just fight through, get your, uh, you know... Um, get your chest and get your rewards that way again there's some codes out there so be search search for that people have posted them in the comments be sure to check those out uh, that will give you some some ancients and uh the the next way we're going to talk about it and what's going to be the next video is the uh the frozen north there that the single player mission uh tracking for, i don't know if that's for evil for evil forever forever I, I don't know for forever excuse me for evil um that's another ancient that you get that's a dragon and it's a different one uh you notice that that little let me show you go back to the house and show you here this little guy right you not in defenses attack no where's that anyways dragon roost uh when you get that dragon out of the single player missions it's what you get at the end when you completely finish it it gives you a dragon that you can put on that roost and actually take into battle with you. Uh, and it's another ancient that you can use with different abilities. So we're going to cover that. We're going to look at it uh, in the next video, uh, just going through that. I'm not breaking into two different videos, uh, do all the attacks so you guys can see it. But I want to give you a heads up what's at the end of that that uh, series so that you could go ahead and do it on your own if you don't want like a spoiler or anything like that. You want to see if you can do it. But I'll... Post myself doing it just so that you guys can see if you have any trouble with any of them, maybe a different strategy to take it out. Uh, before we do a few attacks, let's do what we always do here. We'll make another storage. 
We'll just drop that. Like, it, you know, we're having to redesign our base a lot at this point, but that's okay because, I mean, you know, it, it'll slow down, obviously. Uh, we'll start upgrading our smelters. We'll grab that one. Uh, we need to do, let's see, let's get this reward. No, that's just some gems or some diamonds. It's all right. We'll go out. We'll do a few attacks and uh, let's see. That. You see this right here, guys? I noticed today this tournament. Uh, we can't do it yet, but it's it's pretty cool. It's you go in and it's just like you you fight. You keep try to keep your win streak going. You get rewards and you try to see who has the highest rewards at the end of a pretty short time period. So it's hours, not days or anything. So it's a pretty cool feature. Uh, just something for you to do, you know, outside of just uh, grinding out farming. Uh, this base here probably want to. Let's see, with that catapult, it's got some pretty good range. Maybe just straight down from the top's the way to get this one. I'd like to come in from the side and get all that mana. Uh, I've been using this ancient right here lately, this uh, Nyrax. I don't know if you guys have got that one. Because when it gets full, you, this top ability, I mean, it basically just takes out a defensive building. You just choose one you want gone and drop it on there, and it, is, it just goes away. Uh, so let's try this. Let's drop these up top here. Just coming in from the top, if I can get to that uh, town hall or that stronghold, I should be in good shape. That mortar might not quite be in range of those uh, wardens at the very top there. We'll see if it is at the, when they get closer. If it's not, we should be in, in fine shape. Well, we're getting a lot of. Let's try this. Do a little distraction there. No, we're getting screwed there. We're getting raped. That's all right. You know, as you get higher up on those, it's gonna you're gonna get taken out. You're gonna lose. Uh, we still, you know, don't have the offense to take out uh, every building. Where were we at on our, yeah, Wind Street 8 broken. That's about where I sort of, you know, depends on what, what the base layout is. But 7 or 8, I usually get taken out. We'll do one more so we have enough to upgrade another uh, smelter, and then we'll call this a video. Let's see here. Wind Street 0 is probably going to be pretty easy. That's all right. We'll take some easy ones. Yeah, we'll just drop, we'll drop that there. When they're all exposed like this, I usually just drop my my troops on the defensive buildings because one set of troops can take out one of those defensive buildings and then just fast forward. I don't even stop to uh, drag any of the spells on. I just fast forward straight through. It's the quickest way to do it, in my opinion. All right. Go back to the home base. Oh, one thing I want to point out to you guys uh, right there, what this girl's telling me, rings. Uh, rings are just a, another form of currency that you have to have. Like if I wanted to upgrade my stronghold to level five, I've got to have 150 rings. You get them through normal means, just uh, fighting, you know, different uh, different bases. You're going to get one. I got one from that attack there. So don't worry too much about it. You'll build up rings as you go. Uh, but that is something that you've got to have once you get higher level buildings. You've got to start having those extra currencies to upgrade them. I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, keep at it. Be ready. Uh, probably in the next, probably by the weekend, uh, we'll have the kingdom up. So you guys be looking forward to that and be watching for the videos coming out on the single player campaign or whatever you want to call it. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, Jake reminding you guys to suck less.